YouTube, it's me, Blue. Welcome to my blanket fort. <laughs> I'm actually in a blanket fort. I'm super excited. I haven't been able to, uh, to get into one of these for a little while, so we made it big enough that I can go in. Um, the whole reason I did it, not for the clickbait title, <laughs> even though I'm totally going to call this one Fortnite, because it's at night and I'm in a fort. Um, but the reason I did it is because I needed to read... For my last one, I need to read under a blanket fort. So I thought, what a better place to film my video than where I'm reading. So I'm super excited by that. I have news about this. Actually, besides the fact that I'm finishing off my last my last box today. Um, my daughter started school, and she's in the grade one-two split. And uh, I had a chance to pick her up at school, and I was talking to her teacher, and her teacher's all surprised, because she's like, she can read. And write really well she's not supposed to be able to know how to do that yet and I'm like has she told you about our summer reading challenge and she's like you got a summer reading challenge and so she's all excited because she knows we read for fun and she knows Allie loves to read and read for fun and she's super excited about the whole thing so my little one's excited her teachers excited and she asked me tonight, and she's like, what if they ask me to go to grade two? And I'm like, would you be okay with that? She goes, I don't know. <laughs> so, I don't think she's going to. She's, she's still pretty young yet, but she's super excited at the fact that she's doing things that the grade twos are doing in her class and keeping up with them and reading out loud. Like tonight, she asked me, I think, for the word lagoon. And... Um, she had trouble with a couple of the other words, but like she's doing really well for someone who should not be able to technically read full sentences yet. She's reading full sentences and writing full sentences, and that makes me really excited and super proud. And super proud. She's a Slytherin, but you know, she could be a Ravenclaw in the future. She hasn't been officially sorted yet, so we'll see. So that's what's going on. I wanted to share a little bit of my my uh, library haul. I did finish one. Um, I finished uh, the Haunted Locket. Sorry, no. I finished the Titanic Locket from the Haunted Museum series. And I found out it's a juvenile fiction, which I'm not opposed to reading. But I was a little bit like disheartened because it has such the potential to be a really good adult series. Like there are all sorts of shows out there supernatural uh warehouse 13 where they are finding haunted artifacts and i'm wondering if there's a book series to that effect like if you know of a book series i'd love to hear about it please leave a comment down below i have been looking for one like it's got the potential for such a great sci-fi or a horror series that i would love like i don't like horror but this has like really like some interesting potential so I would love to find out if there's like, is there any kind of anything online for Warehouse 13 or like, I just, I, I find that genre really interesting, like this mixture of, of horror and history and I find that really cool. So if you know of a series that I don't know about, I'm really interested in it, please <laughs> leave a note down below. I'd love to look something up. Anyway, speaking of historical fiction. Dun, 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 dun. I finally got my hands on Chase Stalking Jack the Ripper, which I think is the prelude to the one to the the Dracula series, which a lot of people have been talking about. But this is the one like I love Ripper Street so much. I love the concept. I don't love what he did, obviously, but I love it's. I find it really interesting, like the relationship that the Ripper had with the police that he was always writing letters back and forth and, and explaining what he did and why he did it and I thought that was really interesting so I'm excited to get into this one um the other one again like I mentioned back when I read um the house with a clock in its walls I read um I read that based on the fact that there's a movie coming out just a little after around my birthday so I'm super excited by that and I was all excited to to read it and then 
um, then I read it <laughs> and I'm excited for the movie. But there's another movie coming out, I think it's in October, if not it's in December, called, of course, The Discovery of Witches. And this has been on my bestseller list for a little while. And I'm super excited. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I'm not into the whole vampire thing, um, which sounds really weird because I just got excited about Dracula. But I really, and I actually started writing a vampire series, which did not go well. <laughs> it's really super cheesy. But um, I really, I like the the play on it. Like I'm excited to see where this movie goes. Like that it's kind of um, a little bit of West Side Story, Romeo and Juliet, two boring clans. Again, oh my gosh, that sounded so much like Twilight. Uh, which I could not get into. I apologize to all of you who are into Twilight. I have tried so hard to get into Twilight. I watched part of a movie. I dozed off. I tried reading the book. I dozed off. I could not handle that kind of angsty teenage stuff going on. So yeah, so sorry if you like Twilight kudos to you you are reading that's great you're getting excited I'm not I'm sorry so I'm I'm excited by this by the the concept of again two warring houses you've got the witches and the vampires so I'm kind of excited to see where they go with that so that's going on I started my audiobook for the red glove today which is the next in the black cat series sorry white cat series and uh, again it's really interesting um, I'm, I'm excited to see where they go like I'm only I'm only about like 15% into it but it's still really good and this of course is the book that I'm getting into my fort which is the one dark throne and apparently the third book has just been released just been released I'm trying to get my hands on it it would be my first ACR ever ARC which is advanced readers copy ever so I'd be super excited to get my hands on that so if you want to throw that at me I got an author following me on Twitter. I have never been so excited in my life because it means that I might actually have the potential for, for readers' copies. Like, ah. and of course, I love authors. I think they're so brilliant at what they do. Like anyone who can actually write a book and finish it, like it's just brilliant in my book. So yeah, so that's my GBR this weekend, plus the red glove, and I'm excited. I have to clean up. I just realized I have like, random toys in my little fort here so you're just coming to you have a great weekend from Fortnite or my night fort whatever you want to call it don't forget to leave a comment like and subscribe I'd love to hear from you guys what are you guys reading this weekend are you going back to school I'd love to hear what you guys are reading for school and um, yeah support your local library knowledge is power We'll see you next week. Bye.